All right, welcome back to One Bills Live. Chris Brown, Steve Tasker with you. And joined now by sports journalist and lifelong Bills fan, Ariel Helwani, who is attending his first ever Bills home game at Highmark Stadium Sunday at 1. Ariel, do you have the chicken skin yet? <laughs> oh, my God. I, I wish you guys could feel my palms right now, how sweaty they are. Uh, it, first of all, it is such an honor to be on with you guys. As you just said, I'm a lifelong fan since 1990. I have uh, lived vicariously through what you guys do. Steve, I can't believe I'm talking to you right now, number 89. I have uh, prayed for you. I have tried to will you to the end zone. I've tried to will you to victory throughout your entire career. You're one of my favorite players of all time. And yes, on Sunday, for the first time in my life, I can't believe it, 32 years since I first became a fan, uh, I will be attending a Bills home game. I've been to some games on the road, this time at home, Orchard Park. My wife said to me when I turned 40 in July, what do you want to do for your 40th? I said, I just want one thing. I want to go to Orchard Park. And thank you so much to Kelsey Sweet of the Buffalo Bills who made this happen for me. I can't thank her enough. She's an absolute mensch of a human being, salt of the earth, and I will never forget what she has done for me and my family this week. What? Now, tell me this. Why is keeper. this? Yeah, she is. She's great. Why is it that this is your first one? What has kept you from coming here in the past? Where, where, like, where do you make your home? Is it like in Timbuktu? or? <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I'm from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, and that's why I fell in love with you guys. Uh, oh, so we okay, weren't yeah. that far away. And back in the day, as you know, we didn't have Red Zone and all these things. So the NBC Game of the Week was always the Bills in Canada, especially, you know, Eastern Canada. And so I fell in love with you guys. And I don't know, I went to university. I went to Syracuse. I wasn't that far away, but I've never been the, you know, I'm kind of one of those fans who likes to stay home and be on his couch and whatnot. But when I turned 40, I felt like, you know, I need to start doing these things. You only live once, right? YOLO, as they say. And uh, what better time than now? And uh, let's be honest, uh, we haven't won a Super Bowl. And I thought, you know what? Maybe I need to go there to get us over the hump and watch what happens. After this game on Sunday, we're running the table, we're winning the Super Bowl, and everyone will thank me, and I'll have to be there every season from <laughs> yeah. here on out. We'll take, we'll take any good mojo we can get. Um, what investigating have you, you know, being a journalist, what kind of investigating have you done in terms of what you should expect coming here? I imagine you've probably reached out to Bill's Mafia members here and there that have been to home games. What have you learned or what are you what are you expecting on sunday oh my i don't even know what to expect because i've heard all the tremendous stories i'm bringing my my three children <clears throat> i get He's, emotional talk you get a little verklempt <laughs> yeah, i'm bringing my children all excuse right. me get a swig of water real quick well <laughs> no it, it, this it, is it emotional really me, I, it, no that's it's the truth because uh <clears throat> i love this team so much and this is such a big deal for me so you know, there's a, a guy that I know named Mark Henry, who's a huge lifelong Bills fan. He's a very famous MMA coach, and he loves the Bills a thousand times more than I, ha I do. And uh, he's been to a bunch of games over the years. He lives in New Jersey. He's one of the best mixed martial arts coaches in the sport. Oh, okay. and he has told me a lot about what to expect. I picked his brain. He's a very good friend of mine, him and his son, Pino. So uh, I just can't wait to be a part of it. it. It really means a lot to me. I can't tell you how much this team has meant to me. Um, I grew up in a household, guys of uh cowboys fans so you can Good. imagine what the early 90s right. were like for me and yeah. so now to see us on top and doing so well to see the team doing so well it really does mean a lot and what do you this team has such high expectations it makes it easy and i'm and i'm with you and i was we had a conversation yesterday brownie and i this is the year where my family wants to come up and see games and you kind of this year is really a perfect time for your kid now are you are you grooming your children to enjoy the Bills? Are you going to let them have their own choice and let them pick their oh, own no. team? <laughs> Absolutely not. There is, uh, there is no discussion. Uh, they are Bills fans. Early on, my brother, who has older kids, tried to convert them very early on into Cowboys fans. I said, this is not happening. For once, I'm going to be surrounded by Bills fans. And I have to tell you, I, I get chills talking about it because uh, my middle son, his name is Walter. He's eight years old. He really is a lot like me, and he kind of fell in love with the Bills before his older brother, Oliver, who's 10. And last year, uh, he has a Stefan Diggs jersey. And uh, last January, you know, I stayed up. I was obviously watching the Chiefs game, and he had to go to bed because it was late Sunday night. And I'll never forget, it's one of the greatest and worst memories of my, uh, my young life because he snuck out of bed and came down to watch the fourth quarter with me. And again, I get emotional because uh, when they scored with 13 seconds left, 
I hugged them and I started crying and I and I knew in my heart they win that game they're winning the Super Bowl I will believe that till the day I die they are winning the Super Bowl if they win that game and I told them Walter watch this right now we are about to win the Super Bowl this is the moment that I've been waiting for and then as you know uh, heartbreak yeah. afterwards and right. he just left the room and I didn't move for two hours and uh, hopefully one day we'll get to celebrate that Super Bowl together there's there's nothing more that I want to see happen yeah tears of joy followed by tears of a different kind very quickly in a very short turnaround i wanted to have a little fun with you on this ariel so i think everybody call you know believes josh allen is a unicorn type player knowing the mma journalistic background you have if you had to compare josh allen and his skill set to an mma fighter who would you pick from those ranks that best exemplifies what josh allen does on a football field that is a tremendous question, and he is a unicorn, and I love that man, and I would run through a wall for him, and uh, I will defend him till the day I die. I'm so proud that he's our quarterback. <laughs> the name that comes to mind is uh, probably the pride of Endicott, New York. Now, I want to say they are nothing alike when it comes to their personality, but in terms of their skill set, he reminds me a lot of John Bones Jones, the okay. longtime UFC light heavyweight champion, because this man has the size but he has clearly the speed, he has the tools, and he does things that we've never seen someone in his position do before. I mean, every time he runs, especially late in the game when the game is you know, pretty much done, I hold my breath because he just doesn't care. He puts his body on the line. You see him stiff-arming. You see him running. I mean, you're seeing the highlights here. He just does not care. He is the type of leader that you want on your team, especially as QB1. And uh, John was kind of, you know, when he came into the UFC around 12 years ago, he was this sort of larger-than-life uh, character, this, 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 this athlete that we had never quite seen before, doing things inside the octagon that we have never seen before. And Josh is doing the same stuff now. And I really do believe he is only scratching the surface i really strongly believe that he is uh he's going to go down as one, one of the all-time greats as a multiple super bowl champion and i just can't wait for that first one that first one is going to be so special and i suspect it's going to happen in february dare i say and by the way can i tell you guys the first you know i worked in television i'm a journalist uh right. the first time i was ever on tv in any way shape or form I called into this show. Now, it wasn't known as One Bills Live back then, but it was 1995. I had MSG Plus on our satellite dish back home in Montreal, and Reuben Brown was in his rookie year, and I called up to ask Reuben Brown a question. I recorded it on a VHS tape, and I played it over and over again, and that was the very first time that I was ever on TV in any way, shape, or form. I was in the eighth grade, and I spoke to, I believe, number 79, the rookie, Reuben Brown, and I was over the moon that you guys took my call, and I got to speak to one of the I, Bills players. So this I is amazing say, for me all these years later. Yeah, I want to say that was Budweiser Sports Line with Paul McGuire probably. It might have been Empire, Empire Sports, Sports Yeah, it might have been. Yeah, that's... Uh, yeah, you're you're a goner. <laughs> you're, that's awesome. Right. What is so you're coming your first game? What is uh, coming in from a, you? You know, but you know, you're a, a Bills Mafia member. You're a fan of the team. You've heard all the stuff. What is a must do for you when you come to Buffalo for this game? What do you What do you really want to do before the game? Out in the parking lot? That what do you want to see? Oh, Who man. do you want to see? Who do you want to meet? <laughs> well, my favorite of all time is number thirty four. Uh, if I could shake that man's hand, I would probably faint. Uh, I love him dearly. It was him and Bruce Smith for me back in the day. And and Steve, you weren't far behind. I, I loved everything that you did, and I loved that you were the little guy on the field just you know playing with your heart. It was an unbelievable thing to watch you in your prime. Uh, honestly, I, I'm reminded of the scene from Rudy. I'm sure you guys have seen it when the dad walks into uh, Notre Dame Stadium for the first time and he says, this is the most beautiful thing these eyes have ever seen. I suspect it's going to be a scene like that, my friends. I, I, I suspect <laughs> I'm going to get emotional. As you can tell, I'm an emotional guy. And I've always dreamed of seeing a Bills game. I was I was watching in my basement when 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 you made the comeback against the Oilers. I watched you know every playoff game back in the day. My heart was broken when they didn't play Doug Flutie in 1999. I still believe till this day that we had to pay a, some sort of price for that. We won't get into all of that. I've seen them all. I've watched them all, and I can't believe that I can actually say on a Friday that the next Bills home game is one that I will be attending. I have never been able to say that before, and I can't believe I'm two days away from realizing that. Yeah, you, you you got to like 
you got to hydrate, man. You're going to, I don't know if you're, know. Gonna, you're, you're not going to make it to Sunday. You better, make sure you stay hydrated. Right. I'm starting to get worried about you. He's sweating. He's like, he's like ready to go. Give him a helmet. I am yeah. fired up, guys. I am fired. If, <laughs> awesome. if you need me to, to, to lead the boys on the field, if you need me to fire them up, now they have a great guy leading the charge, Coach McDermott. He's unbelievable. Uh, Mr. Bean doing great things. The whole, I mean, I watch all the clips on the social media when they have those huddles, it, you know, uh, pregame, postgame, everything. I can't get enough of the content. They don't need me, but I just want to throw it out there. If anyone needs me for a little extra oomph, and I think we're going to be fine against the Steelers, dare I say, we don't want to be too cocky, but I think we'll be okay. If you need me, you know my number. I'll do anything for the <laughs> yeah, squad. All, that, all, all nice they one. need you to do is here's be loud thing. with the other 73,000 people yeah. that are going to be here's there. Always a, here's always an issue, though. If You've been a Bills fan for years. The problem is this. If they win, do you have to come to every game from now on? And if they lose, can you never come to another one? <laughs> oh, gosh. That's a lot of pressure. Jeez, Louise. I'll tell you what, if they win, I'll make it a yearly pr- pilgrimage uh, for my Very family good. and I. And, nice. and, and, esp- and by the way, especially if they win the big daddy, I feel like I'll have to come back yeah, each that's and every true. year. And, you know, maybe we could talk about a statue or something like that. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> but uh, I, I, would, I would love to okay. be, you know, I would love to be there every year. We'll start with one. I'm happy right. to. And, and, you know, the new stadium is coming down the line. I would have right. I would have hated myself forever. If I never attended a game, you know, at this stadium, at Ralph Wilson Stadium, the way I remember right. it. So uh, mm-hmm. this this really does mean a lot to me. All right. right. Well, listen, uh, sa- save yourself, man. We, we still got two days till Sunday kickoff. We're a little bit under 48 hours up, here. So, yeah, say, like pace yourself and uh, make sure you get some good grub in the park. A lot of people great about, you know, sharing food and stuff. If you don't have, you know, all you're traveling from out of town. So it's kind of hard right. to bring your own stuff for your own tailgate, but I'm sure you could just walk around and people are more than happy to hand you a bite of something or a swig of something else. Uh, so make sure you soak it all in uh, before the game on Sunday. Have a great time out there, all right? Thank you so much. This is a massive honor for me, and Bill's Mafia has been so kind. Everyone's been reaching out, inviting me, and uh, telling me that I should come over and say hello. So I just want to soak it all in. And, and again, thank you so much to Kelsey Sweet and the Buffalo Bills yeah. uh, for reaching out and making this happen. You guys are the best, and I'm so proud to be a member of Bill's Mafia. Yeah. Well, Pleasure Ariel, to have you, Ariel. Yeah. Enjoy the game on Enjoy Sunday, and make sure you and your Thanks, kids guys. are allowed. Go, Bills. Do, yeah, Let's do, do this, it. baby. And. <laughs>